Just to make things clear, I'm not a personality professional. I am all the traits I speak of in this clip. If you want to understand Israeli personality, stick around. If you want to know things at the academic level, this might not be the place. Now, Israeli men are divided into two types. The guys with the really short hair and the ones with no hair whatsoever. Both types are opinionated, they know everything, they're argumentative, arrogant and completely blind to their own emotions. Despite the many common personality traits, there are some minor differences. We will discuss those in some more detail. There is the anxious type. He is a little neurotic. He is constantly on guard for any logistical shortage as in money, food, plans, safety and the state of everything around him. He hoards things. He will drive himself and his family up the wall. He will micromanage everything in his power and make him an absolute pest of himself. He is extremely unpopular at work but manages to hold on and make himself useful because he is detail oriented and he is absolutely unable to tell between trivial and important issues. In Israel he is regarded as the Nudnik. Then there is the humanitarian type. This guy thinks he's good with people. He can make absolutely no decisions by himself. He is bound by his conscience to make sure everyone around him is happy. By doing this, he usually makes everyone very unhappy. He will welcome strangers in his house and contribute to welfare. He is generous with his surroundings, especially when he comes to dishing out comments as to where they can correct their ways. He will go on demonstrations and support lost causes. He will be nice to everyone, but he will disapprove of himself and of his own family. And to aggravate matters, he will always be dissatisfied with life and circumstances and especially of him. He will preach to whoever is willing to listen, but will practice very little of what he preaches. In Israel, he will be known as the schmuck. This guy sees reality through a very distorted perspective. He is angry with the whole world. He is at a constant fight with his family and friends. He is stubborn and short-tempered. He needs to be right all the time. He is competitive. He has difficulties with self-esteem. He believes in all sorts of rubbish that he hears on the media. He buys himself silly things and he goes on silly vacations. He eats and drinks too much, well that's pr practically everybody. He takes risks, divorces and he's finding difficulty retaining jobs and relations. And yet he is completely unaware of his shortcomings and he blames everyone in sight for his situation. This guy in Israel is considered a schmendrick. The fourth guy has his act together. He is industrious, honest, hardworking. He knows what he's doing, he knows what's what. He is good at what he does. He ignores everything else so he's not distracted. He dedicates little time for himself. He hardly talks to his family. He's always busy, always right. He's usually a workaholic but he could also be an adrenaline junkie. He goes on adventurous vacations, holds on to old friendships. He is surprised that his wife and family are unhappy with their lives with him. He thinks he's God gift to mankind. He looks upon others with some disdain. He pretends to be down to earth. In Hebrew, he is known as the Putz. The final type is the underachiever. He is usually not the type that can multitask. In fact, he has difficulty doing one task at a time. He enjoys sleeping and family and eating. He has regards to logistics but he ignores the news and stays away from controversy. 
he's basically your typical loser. He has lost all his friends because he needs his peace and quiet. He is critical of everything, including himself, but is aware of his inability to do anything about anything. He sees reality as a motel room. He comes in, he goes out, but he doesn't leave an impact. His families are a little unhappy with him because he's not good at anything in particular. It takes him a long time to get anything done. But he enjoys cooking. He's basically the mensch. Thank you for putting up with this garbage. If you ever come to Israel and meet me, I'll take you around and you'll hear some more of this. And I know none of this is true. Um, especially when it comes to myself. I'm nothing like those other guys we talked about. And if you like this sort of stuff, I wouldn't be surprised if you do because you've lasted until the end. Feel free to like and subscribe. I have some other things which could be of interest.